Hello gamers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie and I'm the Beatless Gamer. So hi, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Today we are building a lovely home in Newcrest. Now I said in my last video that I'd be doing more builds that are pack restricted, so like using only one or two additional packs plus the base game. This is not that build, my friends, but I do promise that more of those builds will start to make their way onto the channel. Truthfully, I've pre-recorded a few builds, including this one, so you'll probably be seeing those first, but no worries, I promise some more limited builds will be here very soon. So you may have noticed from the title of this video that this house has got a name, and perhaps I've gone mad naming houses and all, but there's a method to my madness. Anyways, I'd like to introduce you to Lofty Lindsay. This is um, obviously a loft, but... So why am I naming houses? Uh, well, in short, for inspiration, but I won't leave you all with the short answer. While building is my absolute favorite part of The Sims, decision fatigue is a real thing. And the amount of time spent uh, deciding on objects, so like between furniture and objects and wall colors, do not get me started on wall colors, uh, my goodness. It's a lot, like I cut a ton of footage, um, decision making out of my videos, at least an hour of footage from each video. This is because Jessie's got ADD and can't make up her mind. So for me, building a home is easier if I imagine who's gonna be living in it. I kinda got into this in my last speed build, but anyways, uh, instead of always making a sim to build for, instead, sometimes I like to think of the style of the home I'd like to build. And when I say style, Think like loft, mid-century, cottage, or even like a restriction to build with, like a limited number of packs. Anyways, I started naming houses for inspiration, but for like the personality of the house kind of. But if if you're feeling stuck in your builds, maybe try naming a house. It helps me a lot when I'm lacking inspiration. Plus, it's fun to name a house. So expect several of the builds on this channel to have names like Lofty Lindsay. But let's get chatting about the build, shall we? As I was saying earlier, I cut a lot of decision making out of my videos, but I left a bit in today. You'll notice uh, that that silly island, yeah, that does not stick around. I was trying to make an island for the main eating area, but it just didn't work out the way I planned. But that's okay, it's totally fine. Uh, we actually got a normal size table instead with more seating than we would have gotten with that island, so I'll take it. Not everything works how we want it to, and that's okay. I also cut the bathroom out of the build. It's not like it's a small bathroom by any means, but the footage was poo. Uh, there's screenshots of it, so you'll get to see it anyway. It's very exciting, I promise. You don't wanna miss it. it it's a bathroom. It's, it's a good bathroom though. Uh, one thing that I like to do in builds is have hidden or tucked away spaces that are still useful. That being said, I think my favorite part of this house is the tucked away office nook. Um, I would have loved to have had a, I would still love to have a little nook that's just tucked away. I think it really comes together in the end. I would love to have a space like that. Yeah. Anyhow, this is a tiny home. It is a whopping 63 tiles large, so your sim gets lots of added benefits when they live here. There's lower bills, you gain skill faster, there's like better mood lit things, and more, I don't know. These little tiny home residential lots, they seem a bit overpowered to me, I don't know. Um, I don't know about you guys, but building smaller homes is usually more fun for me. Large homes are kind of overwhelming. It's like when you're, like, it's a lot of space to, to decorate. Um, also, it's like, I compare it to painting. It's like when you have a giant canvas in front of you and you have all this blank space and you look at it and you're like, holy crap, what am I gonna put on here? Like, I'm sure I'll build something big in time, but right now, tiny homes have my heart, or smaller homes. Also, I want to apologize in the meantime. I feel like I jump around a lot in this build. I'm sure at least a few of you can relate uh, to this, but there comes a point in the build where you simply cannot look at or work on anything in a specific room or area. Your brain is like, no more, just do something different. Well, I feel that often, so often. So sometimes it's a struggle to keep your head in the building game. Saying keep your head in the game makes me think of High School Musical. I was an emo kid in middle school and I denied ever liking High School Musical, but in secret I loved it. That's the story for a lot of things, like Lady Gaga for instance. I loved Lady Gaga in middle school. I would listen to her music at home, 
Um, I like, had an iPod Touch. I paid for music of hers on iTunes when I was a kid. Um, but I would almost always deny liking her publicly because I didn't think I was allowed to like Lady Freakin' Gaga because I was an emo kid. Why I thought that? Beyond me. Now, that's got me thinking. That could be a good idea for a room build, maybe? Okay, room build challenge. It's your task to build a room for your middle school, like, 13 to 15-year-old self, except it's your dream bedroom, but it has to match your aesthetic or personality from the time. That could be a lot of fun. Maybe a little embarrassing. I mean, I'm not embarrassed by my emo days, and you shouldn't be either. But... Is that something you'd want to see? Let me know in the comments down below because honestly it sounds like a lot of fun and I think I might just give it a go. Well, we're quickly finishing up the main part of furnishing the house. Um, we're going to pop back in eventually to add some finishing touches here and there, but the inside is mostly done minus some decoration. I got stuck on the rug choice here. I was going to use the large rug from Eco Lifestyle, but I found myself using it in like every build. I get weird about using an object way too much, it's no big deal really, but it's good to try new things. So uh, we use a different rug from Eco Lifestyle, very creative. <laughs> well outside here, uh, we keep the landscaping pretty simple, it's lots of dull daisies for the, for the most part, again nothing fancy. So you can probably tell that YouTube is not my full time job, I mean this channel is new and has what, like three videos on it now? Well, today I start a new job. Uh, one of my jobs pre-world shutdown is permanently shut down, um, and I'm so nervous to start this job today. I don't know what it is about starting new jobs that's so anxiety-inducing, but here we are. I'm an introvert at heart, so meeting new people is, is hard for me. Interacting for hours on end is also mentally exhausting for me. I like being at home. Even before the world shut down, I liked spending time at home. Um, so this will be an adventure. It would be cool if this whole YouTube thing just took off, but I think most creators feel that way. And I'm, I'm thankful to have a job despite my nervousness about starting said job. Well, moving back to the build now, I sized down an awning from Eco Lifestyle and placed a bunch of plants on it by raising the height of the plants. Then I added a foundation which raised the house and the awning subsequently. So I moved all of the plants up a bit um, so I had to move them all up a bit is what I was actually trying to say. I love making extra work for myself. Um, I'm very good at it. But once we got all the plants moved, uh, we had some railing to our stairs. I like the stairs being wider than the door itself. The railing kind of fills up a bit of space on the front of the house, makes it look a little less empty. Um, I know Sims can't drive, but I added a car for flavor. Um, it's a sized up toy from the base game. You can find better looking cars in Debug. I'm not sure why I uh, why I used this one, but it works, it's cute, we stuck with it, I didn't let myself change my mind a million times. Adding cars just, it adds realism even though your sims can't use them, it's just a nice touch, you know? I had some fun with the terrain paint. I wanted to add stepping stones, but I wanted them to not be super crisp around the edges like a floor tile is. So I used two different swatches of terrain paint and made these little tiles. We messed up at first, but it is fixed and it is just fine. I think they look pretty cool. I also tried adding terrain paint around the like border of the driveway just to get rid of the crisp lines. Apparently I have an issue with crisp lines now, but uh, we get rid of the actual tile and swap it out with some good old terrain paint. I come back to add some tire detail marks to the driveway, which I think look pretty cool. You'll see those a little bit later. Um, the backyard is nothing special. There's no door on the inside of the home to like let you into the backyard, so if you want your sim to go here, they've got to go through a little gate that we'll be adding. Um, they have to go outside to get to the backyard, but yeah. Um, I fiddled around with the size of the yard a bit. It may have changed from when I built this, though. I don't really remember, to be fair. I filmed this in June, so there is a crazy delay in this being posted because it is um, August now. So this won't be the case for most of my builds. Life is a crazy thing. Truthfully, I've filmed this voiceover between a few days as well. The nervousness with starting a new job, it, it got to me yesterday, but the first day was fine. Uh, starting a new job always gets to me. I'm a quiet person generally, but in a new environment, I'm extra quiet. So hopefully that doesn't come off as rude. Like, I don't want people to think I'm mean. Like, I don't mean to be quiet, I just am. 
So I hope my coworkers don't think I'm like cranky or anything. At a different job, my manager told me that a coworker thought that I was quiet. I mean, to be fair, they all thought that I was quiet, but um, so I went out of my way to try and talk to this coworker because I want to be nice, you know, about what what uh, what do I think to talk about math? We we talked about math. Um, so I'm, I'm great at conversation. <laughs> I hope the rest of this week goes good at the new job. I'm just a little ball of nerves. And I'm sorry, I realize I didn't talk a build about the build much in this one, but it doesn't always have to be about the build. We can just uh, we can just chat sometimes too. Anyway, there's a few things for a sim to do outside at this house. There's a swing because swings are fun, right? There's a barbecue for cooking and a table for eating. Like I said, it's not exciting. Um, I'm not great at making backyards, well, like fun and pretty backyards. Uh, like you could have a backyard, but it won't be beautiful if it's built by me. We finished by adding decorations throughout the home, lots of little details like under cabinet lighting, wall decorations, clutter, all that fun stuff that makes the house look lived in. I want to mention that I moved the chair away from the ladder upstairs. Um, I just, I didn't understand ladder rules when I built this um, and I realized a sim couldn't get off the ladder so we moved the chair. It's all fixed up, it's just, it's not filmed, but it's, it's fixed so don't worry about it. Um, well, okay gamers, I think that's about it for me today. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and for listening to me talk about life and The Sims. I had a lot of fun and hopefully you did too. Uh, if you wanna download this home, beware, there's a lot of packs in this one. My name is the Beatless Gamer on the gallery or search the hashtag Beatless Gamer on the gallery. Uh, if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment anything you'd like to comment just down below and subscribe if you feel up to that. I'm trying to upload at least twice a week, but we'll, we'll get there. I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. But um, I guess that's it for me. So I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.